Hello everyone, Chamantini here, and today I uh, just wanted to do a follow-up on uh, my last video, which was hacking CDP and uh, the security risk with having CDP enabled on your switch or router. Um, I wanted to kind of show you uh, basically one attack that you can do against CDP to perform a denial of service attack on a switch. Um, so our scenario would be you've gone with uh, you've hooked up your computer to a um, a switch and you see that CDP traffic is passing through remember with Wireshark we can filter uh, through Wireshark to see if any CDP packets are being sent throughout the ports <coughs> and uh, if we know that CDP is enabled we can take down a switch in seconds um, with this simple attack now remember CDP has no authentication or anything like that so it's a very trustworthy protocol uh, which is its downfall so to demonstrate I have a Cisco switch here okay and CDP is enabled so if I do show CDP neighbors I just see that it's connected to my lab switch uh, which is my lab switch and my lab switch is connected to uh, a router I have in my lab okay so what we're going to do is we're going to attack this switch using CDP packets uh, by and what we're planning to do or what we hope to do is flood the CDP table and knock this switch offline okay so I'll open up another terminal and we'll do a ping test to the management IP of the switch okay. and we'll watch in, in virtually seconds the switch will be down. We'll be using a software called Yersinia. Yersinia is a tool to attack layer 2 devices uh, including uh, switches, hubs, uh, we can flood hubs and uh, stuff like that. <coughs> now uh, I already had this going so we see that the switch is definitely sending out CDP packets and it's hitting my device which in this case is my laptop now you'll see on the right hand side we see everything in the CDP packet uh, so we see that uh, I'm connected to F0 slash eight, uh, 18 uh, we see the management IP address okay so it, now let's flood this uh, the CDP table the switch so to do that click launch attack okay and now we have three options send a single CDP packet flood the table or set up a virtual device the first one's kind of self-explanatory so is the second one the third one I can actually craft a CDP packet to have certain information to to actually let the switch believe that I'm a certain device and mimic that device so for this video we're going to flood the CDP packet uh, table okay so let's click OK and we'll go to my uh, we'll go here to the packet sorry to the ping test okay. and now while that's gone I'm pinging the wrong IP because that's one this is 2.254 So now we'll see here that pinging the right switch shows that it's gone offline. And I'm unable to do anything with this switch. It's completely offline. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and stop the attack. give it a couple seconds for the traffic to stop flooding and as you can see right away we're now back in business to switch at least the management interface is back up okay. and now when we do show CDP neighbors to see the CDP table it's flooded with bogus entries all coming from one interface so after the fact we can definitely find out or see uh, what port it was originating from but 
At that point, your switch is down so the attack's been successful. So this is just another reinforcement to say that CDP, um, if not configured properly or um, if not disabled, can be very hazardous to your the health of your network on a security level. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the in the section below, in the comment section below. I've also uh, launched a Facebook page where you can also uh, catch up with. Uh, some other videos and stuff I've posted before uh, and of course you can also visit my website www.seanmancini.com uh, Thank you for watching. Have a good day